it's Xenotic time. Let's go. We have Wolf Snipe versus Seeky on Stormkeep. This demo is like two years old now. Uh, so if you see any broken graphical things around the crosshair, that's because the sizing was changed and I can't fix it because this is a demo. So yeah, and I'm not going back. That. Ignore that, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Um, yeah, they changed how the sizing was done a while ago and I don't know what to do about it because I can't change it outside of watching the demo and it doesn't really change in the demo. But we're going to be watching Wolf Snipe, who thankfully sent over a ton of demos so I can practice and what an idiot, he's just going to burn himself in lava. But then again, that lava is so difficult to get out of. It really is one of the most difficult things in the game to do to get out of that lava, especially if you've got an enemy actually firing at you. Only one way out. Top tip, get your opponent in that lava. Good shot from Seeky there. And he's attacking aggressively. Going in. Wolf Snipe backspamming. Absolute legend for backspam, Wolf Snipe. Really plays well with that backspam. Falling back. Gets a lot of damage off. He's going to have a good uh, good position, really. Uh, with the backspam that he's just put on Seeky. Seeky's going to have a little bit less health than he otherwise would have if he hadn't have pushed. But Wolf Snipe's doing a lot of self-damage to himself with these walls and this Hagar, unfortunately. One accidental shot trying to jump up and one uh, very close range Seeky shot. Oh, a beautiful air shot he gets there and he just misses the next shot. Not a great start for Wolf Snipe, but he is very good at finding his way back into games that he's kind of fallen a little bit out of. Nice shot, still 100% on that Vortex. Two for two. And Seeky blew himself up at the same time, so it's actually a mutual frag for them both killing themselves. And then again, a mutual frag, but this time they both kill each other. Uh, so at least nobody loses any points this time. Very nice shot there, using the Crylink with Wolf Snipe. Uh, the Crylink, when it hits, will pull an enemy back towards you, which can be incredibly useful. And it can disrupt an opponent's movement and can slow them down so you can get to an item if you're going to nip around. Uh, CQ is clearly off to try and grab that Mega Armor. Wolf Snipe grabbed it instead. Do we have stats on this? No. The game can now do stats on the... Uh, on the armors, but I guess the demo has to record that. So, we are watching some very old demos today. Thank you to, for, to Wolf Snipe for digging these out. They are fantastic. And it's nice to see the old... The old game and some older players. Another frag goes on the board for Seeky. In a bit of a... Strange duel. Strange time to take a duel. But, you know, it happens. Wolf Snipe's playing very pushed back. Seeky's not letting him have anything, but that was clever from Wolf Snipe. Look at that, he goes. But Seeky knows that Wolf Snipe can't have very much health. And honestly, Wolf Snipe, even staying there for so long, very dangerous. This is Quake Live like play. Wolf Snipe has played many different arena FPSs, I know, including Quake Live and CPMA. Uh, but is very good at all of them, really. And plays very tactically, plays very slow style of play a lot of the time, even if it looks incredibly fast. This is a very slow way to play Xenotic. Good connection there from Seeky. That's the thing with... Um, with shots, you can be very accurate, but if you don't have good connections, if you're hitting the edge of rockets, only doing 10, 20 damage, versus if you hit, you can hit half as many, but if you're hitting 80 damage, like look at Seeky hitting these rockets, it, when he hits, they're full on. They're very close to full, you know, 60, 70, 80 damage. Hitting the rails at the right time, using the rail as a finishing weapon. 
And you see Wolf Snipes getting himself into a bit of a bad position here, pushing through there, manages to get out though, manages to take this armour, so still has the armour on time. Which is a good thing to have when you're on the back foot. Cancelling these shots. You can load this up with a right click and then you can cancel it with the left click. Or let go of right click to fire with the Hager. Weapon tutorial coming soon. TM. We'll see. Wolf Snipe finally gets himself back onto zero. And he should be able to capitalise this because he's got the best position standing over that armour and he does manage to finish off Seeky. Will he be able to push more frags onto the board? He's still got to get weapons. He might have armour and health. But he's still got to get the weapons. And Seeky knows the times too because both of those fights went down on the items. So the times haven't changed. Seeky knows when to be there. Wolf Snipe's not going to be able to pull a sneaky on Seeky. But... Does mean that Seeky's going to have to play more careful because Wolf Snipe has the better stack. But this map, Dodger will always say it. Dodger is an absolute legend on this map. Uh, this map has a lot of tiny little helds and a lot of tiny little armors. You can stack up really well without going to the megas. Take these helds just down in this corner where Wolf Snipe's taking them. And you see Seeky run across them when he's in the middle of the fight. He knows he needs a bit of health. And he knows he needs to move. So he's going to move around and pick up as many of those little healths as possible. They might only be five each. But if you run around the back of there, I think it's 45 health. Uh, or sorry, 45 armor for just around the back of there. You could pick up 45 armor and the mega in one swoop. Yeah. Pop in here. I think it's 45 health on there as well. Lots of little places in this map people don't go. Like here. Yeah, there's 25 in there. Very useful in deathmatch. Very useful in deathmatch. Again, we're seeing Wolf Snipe, the strategic play, trying to block out his opponent. Uh, although Seeky, generally smart enough to go around the other way, as you can see. You can see he's being spammed at from down in the tunnels, and he's just going to pop out of the tunnels, come around the other way. Wolf Snipe knew to look the other way, because Seeky had disappeared from the tunnels. Wasn't appearing at the tunnel entrance, so obviously look the other way. Guy's probably coming round the back. And that's where the dukes and double dukes and all of that start coming in. Can you get it round? That uh, blue thing that Wolf Snipe's just walked through, that door is a teleporter. Non-Euclidean geometry and all that. Or a warp zone, as it's called in Xenotic. Specifically the, uh, the see-through ones are warp zones. Standing on the item, a very risky decision. Oh yeah, you can hit people through the wall uh, and through warp zone walls. So it's always worth spamming there. Wolf Snipe very much showing off this map. It's a great how to play this map. Where are all the little bits that you forget about in a regular map? Uh, because Wolf Snipe is on the back foot. Oh, that was close. I think they're yeah, getting very close and... Potentially giving his position away with the sound and especially giving his uh, health level because you make a different sound when you're very hurt. You make that, Ugh! that was awful. But yeah, you make a terrible noise when you're very hurt. Oh, that was very close. Wolf Snipe's clearly done that jump before. It is a little bit trickier than the standard using the wall as a ramp. But, oh, that was beautiful right there. Using the Electro. But yeah, the uh, walking across the top can keep you completely out of sight if you need to be hidden because you are within rail range, which is 80 damage. That's this we weapon here, the rail, the next, the vortex. And it's fully charged shot just like that does 80 damage. So, boom, instant 80. We have one minute left on the clock. Interesting that Wolf Snipe's not going to go and pick up all those uh, tiny little armors. And I think... Seeky might head over there to try and do that. Look at him. There he is. He's over there trying to pick up the armies. He knows the health's gone because he watched it be taken. So he's not over there for the armor, but he wants the little armors. Wolf Snipe very much forgetting those little armors existing and not taking advantage. And then Seeky again. He's back in here. Even though he goes down, he survived an extra shot there because he picked up all of those healths. 
And that could have been the difference, you know. Are we going to go into an overtime? Because Seeky's... We could go into overtime. We have 10 seconds left. Wolf Snipe is trying to find Seeky. It's been an incredibly back and forth map. Will it go to overtime? Will Wolf Snipe land the last shot? He does with two seconds remaining. Wolf Snipe lands the last shot. We have gone into overtime. Two minutes now. Just a flat two minutes. And if it's still tied after two minutes, we gain two minutes more. Unless for some reason they've put sudden death on in which case I don't know. Well, sudden death. Next guy to die. But don't believe so. Standard rules, two minutes. Some people like sudden death because it's a very close and defensive game. It's uh, a bit crap. Wolf Snipe shooting into the wall there to try and bounce a grenade a little bit better for him. Which is very clever even though it didn't land. Oh, Seeky's got there just in time. Both colliding in midair and Seeky picking up the armor just before Wolf Snipe. Beautiful in-fight movement there from Seeky. Absolutely stunning left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, using all the axis of movement that he can. Wolf Snipe finally picking up some armor and we can see, yep, 40 armor. So I was uh, five off. But that isn't bad for pretty much free and when you can pick up the mega health. Remembering that this map only has 150 health and no 50 armors. So you got the main main armor and weapons. The change in pace of this map when the overtime came in is incredible. As soon as the overtime came in, because Seeky was freshly spawned, Wolf Snipe had all the weapons, could instantly kill him. But Seeky with any weapon could kill Wolf Snipe, who only had around 55 health. So, both neither player wanted to push super hard. Wolf Snipe there denying that uh, that big health. A 50. We're going to go into double overtime by the looks of things because I really cannot see the frag coming out now. And there we are. Two minutes added. We're going to a very long game here. The armor taken by Wolf Snipe. The health taken by Seeky. You can hear it all across this map. The warp zones do make the map feel a lot bigger than it is. But it is an incredibly small map. Everything is connected next to each other. You can hear everything from everywhere. A beautiful shot there from Wolf Snipe. Connecting that rocket absolutely perfectly. Just a little bit of curve on it. And now we'll see. Does he try to push for another frag? Or is he going to sit back? It looks like he's going to sit back and play an incredibly spammy, backwards, defensive game. And he's got two frags on the board. That's absolutely the right decision. Sometimes it's not the right decision. Three, there we go. This looked like Wolf Snipe unless Seeky can manage to somehow pull this back. A very good comeback from Wolf Snipe, who was very much on the back foot at the start of the game. But then Seeky towards the end in the last two minutes fell behind. And Wolf Snipe was able to pick it back up. A massacre from Wolf Snipe. That is five frags in a row. Playing incredibly well. Yeah, as I was saying, sometimes you can get a bit ahead of yourself when you've got only a minute and a half left. And uh, you've got one frag on your opponent. And you often can lose the game from that. Wolf Snipe again falling in that lava. How many times is that now? Three suicides. Fair enough. And he's fallen in the lava one more time than that. Because one of them was counted as a frag. Because of the way Xenotic Candle's last, last hit by. It considers people pushing stuff in. Which is a good system. It means that you get less minuses on you. Oh, that was incredible for one Wolf Snipe. He should have just stayed there. There is only five seconds left on the clock, but if he'd just stayed there, he would have won. That was a very good game. We're calling it GG. Thank you very much for watching. A 14-minute duel. Incredible scenes here. Very old duels coming up on the channel soon. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. No, I don't give a fuck. Uh, follow me on Twitch, though. That's quite good. I stream defrag and stuff, and I stream these. And join Xenotic.pickup or the Discord um, with Xenotic.pickup on QuakeNet IRC. Get involved, Xenotic.org. Let's go. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.